Well, you guys, we have some really bad news, sad news. Nick just came in. I was cleaning eggs and packaging them up, and he says that Chester is dead. That's um, the rabbit we got a Fia for her 18th birthday. Let me sh let me see. Oh, this breaks my heart. You know, yesterday we moved them to new grass and I had mentioned how, like usually he eats almost as much of the grass as they do. Like down here, he was here and they were there. And see, he almost ate it. I mean, it's coming back of course, but he ate almost as much as they did. Then here, he was a little bit less than what he usually eats. And then look at the difference in these two. That's theirs, and this was his. We moved him off of this. And I said, oh my goodness, he didn't eat very much at all. And that's usually one of the first signs that there's something wrong. But I thought maybe we just moved him earlier, or I don't know. But that he didn't eat his feed. I think the only way to know for sure what's wrong with him, one of my friends keeps rabbits, and she said to do a, a necropsy. Oh, I don't know if I can bring myself to do that. But I'd really like to know what caused it. Nothing got in there. These three seem to be doing okay. Hopefully. We have the two in there. <laughs> they look Aww. fine. Yeah. He and was them. digging a hole. He's got a huge hole, though. Does he? All right. I wonder what I wonder what the vet would charge He's us to. There eating grass. I don't think I can do it. Just oh. sitting there chewing on grass. Oh. Well, you guys, I wasn't able to do it. I did not want to do the necropsy. So, um, from what I've researched and from what I understand, um, the coccidia lives in the soil and I'm pretty sure that's what it was because he had a lot of the signs um, like usually he runs to the thing and he runs out and runs all over the field trying to get us to catch him well he's just playing having fun but he didn't even come to the door that the day before he passed so lethargy is one thing um, and not drinking not eating he had stopped I noticed that same day he had stopped he didn't drink as much water as he usually does and the big sign was whenever we moved him it was um, the grass, he hadn't eaten the grass like he usually does. So, um, unfortunately, like, they, like I said, coccidia lives in the soil. So a lot of breeders, we don't breed, these are just pets, but a lot of breeders will breed rabbits with good immunities. So they will try to like call out any of the rabbits that don't have a good immune system um, and then keep the ones that do and try to breed those to make their livestock, to make their, their rabbits like healthy and not get coccidia as easily. These rabbits all came from Royal King. So, um, well, Chester didn't. Chester came from a breeder, but they're not meat rabbits, they're pets. And so um, we had tried them on the wire bottom because they say that's a lot of times that's a good thing to do. And that way they're not living on the ground but I figured that it would be awesome to have them out in the grass playing, having fun. Plus, we'd already lost two in the wire bottom cages. And I hated that they didn't have friends. I hated that they couldn't run around. So it's very unfortunate. Um, and we also figured since we're moving them, because I figured it just comes from the poop, we're moving them regularly, um, it shouldn't be a problem. But apparently it is. Um, Thankfully, these haven't had any problems since Chester passed, but you just never know. Um, we're moving them regular. They usually poo in one area, and I don't know. I don't know what, what to do. <laughs> I guess we just wait and see. And it happens so fast that once they start to show signs, of the coccidia or coccidiosis or coxie. There's three different 
ways that people will talk about it. But once they start showing signs for it, they usually die within a day or two. So, um, <laughs> Macha, you're so cute. So, um, there's really no way to help them. So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the best idea is. We lost two when they were in the pens, and now we've lost one that was in the tractor. Usually, it's communal. Like, whenever you have, like, a big rabbit tree or you have a lot of rabbits in one place, if you have them in a barn stall, that sort of thing. That's usually what the problem is um, for coccidia and causes it. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Hopefully, these three have a good immune system. Um, so far, they're doing good. Knock on wood. But, um, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Lottie. <laughs> She's like, what do you want? You knocked. Um, Nick just moved them onto this fresh grass and they love, they won't eat their feed whenever they have grass because they love eating the grass. Y'all are so pretty and so cute. Hey, guess what? Easter's coming, two days. Yup. Do you all help out the Easter bunny? No, okay, that's all right. Matcha. I love the grass. They just seem so much happier out here than in their pens by themselves. It just seems more natural. I guess the, the rabbits that live in the wild and make it in the wild have good immune systems. So now we are heading over to the farm to do a couple more things. It is a gorgeous day and it's Good Friday. So Nick is off from work today. Um, I unfortunately have strep throat, but I'm feeling a lot better. So thankfully, um, but we need to get some water and clean out the water. Are we gonna clean out the water? Yeah. Big tank, okay. And then um, feed the chickens, feed the goats, and then we've got to go to Lowe's to get some timber to finish the roof for Afia's show pig pen or fair pig pen. slowly because if you put them in too fast then it will take your quarters all right so two dollars eight quarters and how much does that get us 350 gallons really how much is it What well, stinks? Well, that's not good. After it stops pumping, he. Well, it used to be up after that. Uh, I don't know. He um, moves the hose around trying to get it all out. Because if you don't and you hang it back here, it'll all go out in the ground. And that's just a waste. It's about 20 gallons. Yeah, I know. We don't want to waste it. See how good he does? Nothing comes out. Okay. If we can get it from out here, I don't have to. But I can, I don't mind. Probably. 
sit on the edge and just swing your leg over and just, just jump in there. <laughs> what are you worried about? Because I don't want to fall. And just don't let go of the tank with your hand. There you go. <laughs> I like could jump off a skyscraper. A little algae build up. It's a bird thing right here. All that other stuff is on the bottom, so that's good. All right, it looks a lot better than dead. Yeah. Straighten out the hose as much as we can. I got you. It has to be higher than this for it all to come out, so. Then he goes up there and like leans it to get all the water out. up the hose. Pushes it out. And then if he lets it back down, you can hear it filling up. I don't know if there was any going in that time though. So we're just going to do one load for today because we're going to wait and see how long it takes the egg layers to drink it. We're also going to wait and see how much algae builds up. So there's no reason to fill it up any more full than what it is until we see 
if the algae is going to build up and then that way we can clean it out and then put fresh water in. Now you're going to run the backhoe? I guess. He's going to run the backhoe! Yay! All right, so he is heading off to work on the backhoe. It's back there. And while he's doing that, I'm going to pick all this stuff up and clean it up. We need that for the pig pen roofing and then just get all this other stuff out of the way so when we start mowing grass up here, all of this won't be in the way. I got all of that cleaned up and now we're gonna go see Nick and see what he's up to. So this is my brother's backhoe that he is letting us borrow, um, which is awesome. Um, so all along in through here, this is all covered in sweet gum. So like these right here, these are sweet gum and this whole thing was completely covered. So Nick has gone through and dug up a lot of them. There used to be just one single path going all the way down here. Um, you can see that in our goat videos because we had the goats up here for a while. But um, eventually, well, hopefully, we're wanting to have a house seat right over here. We've been trying and trying to get that to happen, but one thing after another has kept us from it, um, mainly money. But, um, I mean, the farm road, when we put it in, it was like almost three times as much as we thought it was gonna be. And then the price of um, all the materials to build a home has gone up tremendously since COVID. So that has created a problem. And then um, we're just trying to figure out if this is enough property to sustain the farm that we want to have and the livestock that we want to have with um, pigs and chickens mainly. And of course, you know, any other farm animals we might get like mini donkey, but we'll see. Um, we'd love to have cattle, but we'd need more pasture. So that's another thing we've been thinking about. But here are all of the trees, the sweet gum, sweet gum trees that he knocked down. So it looks so good up here. It looks a lot better. All the way back to the Jeep shed back there. Now that Jeep shed is actually on my brother's property. He has the 15 acres behind us but there's a jeep in there i think it's called a wheelies that's actually um mine because i got it from my daddy when they passed um the boys didn't seem to want it so um we got it i'll show it to you there's not much of a car left not much of a jeep but it's interesting so yeah look at all that progress that he's made not awesome all right let's go over here and then this is the neighbor's property right next to us so I would love to have that too someday but we'll just wait and see what God wants for us to happen all right so this is where my dad kept hay when we had cattle and then um, it became kind of like a, a junk shed after that so um, there is all tons of stuff in here some weightlifting equipment some old sinks buckets and right in there is the jeep <laughs> all right i'm gonna try to walk to the other side and see if i can get closer i would love to get it remodeled and so we could like run it again, at least around the property. I think that would be awesome. But again, money. So we'll just wait and see if we ever get to. There's all kinds of stuff. I mean, a lot, most of it, Nick knows what it is, but there's some things that he doesn't. And I wish I would have been able to ask dad before he passed what some of it was. But look, there's some like, looks like old either lawnmower tires or maybe tricycle tires. I'm not sure. 
but dad saved everything. And here is the Jeep. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I'd love to be able to get it fixed up and use it around the farm. That would be awesome. Oh, look at this ladder. I didn't notice that there last time. Huh. But yeah, the roof fell in on it. So that stinks. But yeah, maybe someday. We'll see. Kind of scared to go in there because of uh, snakes. I don't like snakes. Give me a big old... Big old pig, big old boar, big old sow. But snakes, no thank you. I wonder if I could go on the inside and look down in it. Here, hold on. Let's see. Can y'all see anything? Let me see if I can come up here. Hey, it's holding me. around the other way all right we're going in the hay crib hopefully nothing gets me another thing that freaks me out is that I don't have very good vision where I had a detached retina a while back so um one time I was cleaning out a shed and there was like a snake just like a foot from me looking at me trying to figure out what I was doing and I didn't even realize it was there okay let's look and see what's in here oh cool yeah, that would take a lot of work and a lot of money to redo. But isn't that neat? I think so. Aw, look. It's a little stroller. Probably mine or my brother's. Sink. All kinds of fun stuff. All right, what else all in here? Are those leaves? Yep. All right, let's go back down and see Nick. See what he's up to. Look, I found a wash basin. I love these old things. But most of the time they are rusted out and I hate these things. Briars! They're horrible. Um, that's one thing the pigs will not eat are the briars. But yeah, I love these. Unfortunately, they're usually rusted. Oh, I'm going to have to use two hands. Rusted out and they leak. But they're still kind of cool. All right, I'm going to get it. Well, I was going to get it, but look, it's full of concrete. So it's really heavy. And plus, I just realized it's on my brother's property. So I don't want to take it. It's his. All right, we'll go back to our side. Ah! Ah! Gag it. All right, now we'll go see Nick. I mean, look at all this stuff. There's a lawnmower and... All kinds of stuff that I don't know what it is. Chainsaws. Pots. Buckets. Sinks. A chair. I don't even know what that is. Oh, those used to be lights, I think. I don't know if we used those on our, cam on our camper when we used to go camping. Somebody did. Maybe it was my brother. I don't know. Look at all this stuff. Oh, there's one of my daddy's welding hoods. Or helmets or hats or whatever you call it. Helmets? I don't know. My dad was a really good welder. There looks like a frame to a bed. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. I don't know if my brother's been back there to look through all this. There's a lot, unfortunately. Oh, look at that gate. I bet dad made that. He made most everything that we had. Look at the pretty mushrooms. Aren't they neat? I like them. Oh, I guess now is now the time to be looking for morels? I've never had them. I've never found them. But I know some people have been talking about them. I have to find that out. Some people have left their junk back here. I hate that. I know that wasn't my dad. Because he didn't drink. I guess it's not new. He drank water and milk and buttermilk. Alright. 
There's some more of the sweet gum. Oh, I thought I could get down through there, but I can't. So he got off and is clearing some stuff out of the way. Is your little mouse still in there? You haven't seen it? The other day he said there was a little mouse in the cab with him. And I said, well, what'd you do with him? He said, I just left him alone. <laughs> Look at this really cool thing that Nick made. And we get to stick it down into the ground. Isn't that neat? Yay! Look at that. Doesn't it look so much better? Little by little we're getting it and then we just gotta burn all these. But I just realized that I haven't eaten lunch yet and it's 5.30. So we are gonna go ahead and go feed the other animals, the goats and the chickens. And then we are gonna go get some supper. I hope Afia fixes supper. What do you think, honey? I hope so too. <laughs> well, we were getting ready to leave and Nick said, what's all this water about? See, 
it all going down through there? Well, the nozzle had broke. I guess it's a Y nozzle. I don't know what it's called. We'll go ask him. But um, we pretty much lost all of our water. What's that thing called, honey? A nozzle or a Y? A Y nozzle? A Y. It broke. Oh, well, we didn't lose it all, but we lost a lot of it. <sighs> that stinks. The goats are anxiously waiting for our arrival. <laughs> We just have to check the chicken's water and get the eggs. Hi girls. And <clears throat> Reagan has been being a little bit mean to me. So I'm keeping a close eye on him. Cause he like tried to attack me the other day. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You used to be really nice. Look at this. They spread their um, calcium everywhere. It drives me crazy. You all are so wasteful. I hope you eat it off the ground. Hmm. All right, let's see how many eggs we got. Looks like a pretty good day for eggs. Yay. This one I think has been broody. That one I think might just be settling in for the night. And that one, I think, is settling in for the night. Oh, look. And this is Sandy. She, A, you all have already eaten that one, haven't you? Um, she gets up here every night to help me collect the eggs. Don't you, pretty girl? She'll actually let me hold her and pet her, which is more friendly than the other ones. Um, and I didn't realize when I named her Sandy that... <laughs> That's actually my mother-in-law's name, but I just thought she'd look like a seashell. See how pretty? Like a sandy seashell. You're a pretty girl. <laughs> he doesn't bother you, does he? He charged right at me. Booger. Look at our pretty eggs. We did good today. We've been getting, how many, about six dozen? Six to eight, I think. This is becoming a pretty regular place for us. <laughs> we gotta go get some wood for the roof to finish it. So how many getting? Five? They look pretty straight. Yeah. You did good. You're not going to put them on the thingy? Huh? Okay. Well, you guys, we did not get the roof finished. So we will save that for the next video and we will see you then. If you haven't already subscribed, please do that. Um, hit the notification bell and share it with a friend comment below and let us know what you'd like to see or where you're from or what you thought of the video all right we'll see you in the next one bye guys